Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Mixed Media Monday and I have some various little projects that I want to do today. So we're just going to work on those. I want to say hi and hugs first to Lena, Gigi, Darcy, and Fun Life on a Budget. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. Okay, let's just jump in. So I want to do some stenciling and stuff. We will do that with some various pace in a minute. I've got a variety of different things that I want to stencil on. I'm going to put those aside for a second, though, because I want to include some envelopes in the signatures of uh, my fall journals. So I want to get those decoupaged on real quick, if we if we may. So, um, so yeah, I hope you're all having a good day so far. I am. I'm having a great day. Just, just getting some, getting some things done is what I'm I'm uh, up to. So let's see. I'm gonna just pull this over slightly, and I've got my water pen here. We'll just see if we can't. Tear this where I want it torn. And we'll go down here. Okay. See how we do here. I usually do this at my other desk when I'm sitting down, so I wasn't quite sure how this is how this is going to feel with it. Um, yeah, look at that. How pretty is that? That's fun. Okay, I'm going to get them all ready to go, and then we'll Mod Podge them all at once. How about? Then I have this one. And um, probably you'll ask, where do I get all my beautiful napkins? And I get them primarily from Truly All Supplies on Etsy. Ava over there, she's got a great selection always. And um, yeah, it's just, I think I'm gonna go all the way up on this because it's just so pretty. And then down. There. Yeah, anyway, she's got great variety. She's got, you know, every sort of subject matter you could want. And um, her service is great. She's she's awesome. I've, sh I've shared her before on Etsy Shares many times. <clears throat> okay, so let's get, actually get these folded up and out of my road. Because I'll need lots of drying space, I think, for the stenciling that I want to do. Okay, so that will be that one. Love that, too. So let's pull off those little bits. Okay, that one's ready to go. Next, then I have this one. And, gosh, I'm not sure what all is going to fit on it, but... I might go from this way. <clears throat> and I think what I'll do is just kind of, whoa, I squeezed my pen, so ended up with, ended up with a bit, oh, just kind of go around that leaf a little bit. We'll see how that works out. Oh yeah, that's a splotch. Got plenty of water on that. <laughs> it wasn't coming out, so I squeezed it. Well, that apparently was a mistake. Okay. Set that aside to dry. <laughs> and then this one is gonna go 
like that. Okay, that one's ready. And last but not least, I have this little bitty napkin, but I think it will... Gosh, I can nearly cover the whole thing, can't I? I'm going to go right here. Like that. And maybe down this way. Just to give it a little more personality. Okay, let's see how that is. Okay. And that right on to there. Yeah. Okay, cool. Just four of them. Okay. And then I'm going to use this. It's Little Birdie Deco Magic Premium Deco Podge Glue. Mostly because my, um, I felt like my, uh, Mod Podge was at the end of the bottle and I didn't want to struggle with it. So, we'll just use this instead. Probably got more than enough, as usual. I'm heavy-handed with stuff. But that's okay. You can also put nap napkin on with just glue stick if you want to. It gives it a little more texture on the... Um, You know on the top of it it's you can feel it a little bit more but this is just a different it's just kind of a different feel let's just say okay all right so i'm gonna try and just put it on my brush kind of uh oh there i go the air conditioning came on it's blowing things off my shelf <laughs> So, so yeah, I've just been, I feel like I've really been getting some stuff done in the craft room. I pretty much have the fall, um, the, the, the fall journal kits pretty much ready, really. Um, I'm feeling like I have a few things like these and then, um, I don't know, I might for Scrappy Saturday do some putting together of some um, fabric scraps to make uh, fabric flips for them. And then I think I'll be pretty ready. I'll just use, use what I have and go for it. Okay, that's ready. So that can go over to dry someplace, <laughs> somewhere. Let's see, um, this one then, I'm going to go about up to there, so just see if I can be a little, a little better about my amount. And of course, it hurts nothing if you have your glue in spots where the napkin's not going to be either, that's okay done no matter no matter with that okay because I need a little more there So yeah, I've been wanting to do this and it's better, kind of better done over here on my um, mixed media area than on my desk. Although usually if I'm doing something with a napkin on my desk, I usually just use the glue stick. But I wanted the, 
and wanted the different feel for these. So off we go in decoupage world. Did any of you all decoupage in the 70s? I know some of you aren't old enough to have, but I, I remember making my making some plaques with some deer on them for my dad for his birthday. <laughs> and um, yeah, I've always really enjoyed, enjoyed the old decoupage. Okay, that one, once again, is ready to go. So I'm gonna put that to dry. I'll try and remember to show you these after they dry too. Um, this one, Okay, really, it's nearly the entire envelope again. So we'll just get a little crazy and do the nearly the whole thing here. Um, yeah. So we're getting ready for our granddaughter's first volleyball um, tournament. I've been trying to do filming ahead just so it's not so crazy once they get started. Um, but yeah, it's fun. The first tournament both families of girls are in. So the only trouble is, is of course, Addie is going to be playing at a different time than the two younger girls. Um, but they've got them scheduled to play at the same time. Do you see what I'm saying? I mean, it's like there's two gyms and they've got them playing at the same time. So we'll be splitting duty with our daughter and son-in-law to watch, watch them. And then... Yeah. So, and then of course when they start the regular season, then they then they play at different times so we can watch them both, but this tournament it's like, ah, shoot. Going to miss one to watch the other here at the beginning of it anyway. So, um yeah, so but it's in my son's town. And so we're going to spend the night and stuff and um So yeah, it'll be it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. There we go. That was that was a lot. A lot of decoupaging there. Okay, this one, not so much. So about right there, kind of angled down a little bit. Okay. About there, and then we're gonna get, then we're gonna get busy with some modeling paste and such. Okay, so I'm gonna put this over that away. Oh, isn't that pretty? Very quiet in the house. I think Mike's taking a nap and I'm filming this one. My friend Emily is cleaning. She must, she's up in the bedrooms. Had a little, be good. It's, I hope it's not too hot up there for, geez. I mean, we have air conditioning, but the 
getting it to from the basement up to the level where the bedrooms is <laughs> either air conditioning or heat is not great but at least in the winter when we're in when we're sleeping we have plenty of you know we just add another blanket to the bed <laughs> but this time of year ugh, it does get warm happily it pretty much cools down at night we've only had a few days where it was like oh my gosh it's not cooling down at all <laughs> Okay, okay, so that needs to dry. Yay, did those. Okay, that's awesome. Now I need to do a little tidying up here. Let me just get my baby wipes. I don't want this to glue itself shut. So get as rid of as much of that glue as we can. Okay, so I can set this aside. And to do the brush, the silicone brush is great for Mod Podge. Cl easy cleanup. And I'm just going to kind of get this off of here too a little bit. Okay. Oh, you know what I wanted to grab and I didn't is, but I can real quick, is a piece of white. I don't want white. Maybe I'll put grab craft colored cardstock one sec so just like this and that's just going to be my kind of my stencil clean off um spot and the stencils i grabbed i grabbed some timmy i grabbed his um little letters Big numbers. I have small numbers down here. Again, small numbers, dots. I have this one, um, which is this stencil. I hope that's in screen. I can't really see on the thing. <laughs> the, the thing that holds my camera over here isn't great. I can't really see. I can't look in and see what I'm doing. And then this one which is so pretty since I've got so much paint on it. Okay, because I thought those would be good fall-wise. Oh, and then the flourish. I always love the flourish. Okay, so I want to do, excuse my reach. Um, I want to do, this is the cover, the, the fourth cover, and it's all dry now, and I've put on the... Um, the little topper, I am going to need to put lace on the spine when once it's um, sewn in because this particular paper was really old and it did, it did flake off a little bit. But that's okay. I can just put a nice, um, a nice bit of lace down here and that'll be great because, you know, there's lace here too. So what I was thinking is I'm thinking about this one and I'm thinking about just kind of coming in the side here with some with some leaves. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. So, first of all, I got new acrylic or a uh, Liquitex modeling paste because if you saw my one video where I was struggling with the stuff that was so dried up ugh. then I've got cream paste here from Stamperia and then I've got gold cream paste from Stamperia so we're just gonna I did get the smaller jar of this just because I had the bigger jar and it it really ended up getting um, getting old and getting dry. Okay, what I would like to do is, um, I think I like kind of a sagey green is what I'm thinking. So um, I'm going to go ahead and break into the new paste here. I did open it and it's like all on the all on the little thing. It's very full, very full. So 
I am just, I don't need a lot. I'm going to be putting the lid back on because I'm paranoid now that I'm going to have have a mess like I did that one time. Oh my gosh, that was horrible. Trying to jelly, uh, jelly print and it was just like doing it with uh, cement. Okay. Let's just mix this. Ooh, I like it. Get that paint all in there. I should have done my my flatter little bucket here, but palette, but I didn't. Okay, so let's just go for it. I'm just going to I'm going to come over here with a little bit of the, the grid that's on here, too. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Okay. And then I think I'm going to come from, like, this side with with it. Hopefully I have enough paint here, or uh, enough modeling paste. We'll hope. I should. Now if that gets on the corners, I'm just going to wipe it off. Um... But just adding a little something more to this um, to this cover, you know, I never do this, but I think I did just about the right amount of modeling paste. Ooh, that's kind of goopy over here. Um, I think I'm going to try and take that off. Okay, I'm going to get it off of the corner, maybe. Yep, get it off of here, and then I'm just going to carefully pull off what I don't want, or what was kind of kind of goopy. There we go, that's better. Okay, well, that uh, that isn't done. I think what I will do is kind of rub it with some ink or something, the, an ink, you know, distress pad or something, and make it um, show up a little bit more on the edges. But, of course, it has to dry first. So, that little project, good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take my... Just take this piece of paper and it's just going to be my clean off is all it's going to be. But it's going to end up with some kind of cool texture on it, probably. Very thinly, but you know. So now um, I am just going to go to another corner here and scrub it off. Okay, cool. All right, so I can let that, oh, I have this right here and it's taking up room. Let's 
throw it on the floor. Okay. So one of the things I wanted to do that I think I alluded to in the previous video is this these book page things. I, I do want to do a bit of um of texture paste on paste on them. And then we'll get busy on some of the um the fall things that that we have. Let's see, I wonder, um, those go like this. I'm deciding, do I just wanna go with, actually, I think I'll go with the same stencil, but I'm thinking, do I wanna go with gold? Why not, let's give it a try. I do love the cream paste. It's <laughs> it's just so creamy. Almost um, really kind of easier to work with than the um, modeling paste. Of course, I haven't messed around with the modeling paste much. And so I think it's one of those things, too, that I'd be maybe a little better at it if I did it more often, but you know. Okay, let's see how that does. Ooh, yes, I love that. Can you see that okay? And see the shine? Oh yeah, that's very fun. Okay, set those up. Um, I think I'm just going to go in the same spot. So I just have one spot to clean. That might be good. some right in that little crease. Okay. Ooh, yeah, that's just fun. I just smeared them a little bit, but that's okay. <sighs> no biggie. I'm definitely, well, let's face it, I'm not perfect at anything I do, but you know, Definitely not this. Okay, there's that. And then let's just get it off the stencil. I think we'll do a little more gold on some of the tags. So but I'll just get it off the stencil in case we don't use this one just right next. Okay. Um, Okay, so we've got a lot. Let's just see. This would be nice with some gold on it, I feel like. This one's already got gold, I don't think. That one. That one could be good with gold. That one's already got gold. It's already got gold. No, no. I think these two would be good with some gold. Nope. Nope. This one, maybe, maybe. Except I don't want four or five, we have six, <laughs> the same. Although, I could do four and have them in the different journals, right? Yeah, could do that. Okay. Um, golly, I think I want, I want this same one on this, I think. 
And I think I'm going to go this edge because um, it doesn't have as much stuff. And I'm just going to try and just kind of make this go down the side a little bit. Let's just go along the bottom too. If you can find this stencil, guys, I have loved it. I mean, I use it a lot. So, um, yeah, Sheena is the name of the gal who whose design it is. Okay, just adds one more layer, you know. I'm going to start laying down on the floor because I'm going to run out of room otherwise. Okay, so this one. I think I might do some numbers. what I might do. Um, mm -hmm. And again, these aren't going to be done with just this. I'm going to like maybe put a little Tim Holtz person or a mushroom or something on this as well. Ooh, I like that. And then I'm just going to put one more number down here. I was really anxious to play with these today. It's been a while for me doing anything like this. Oh, yeah, that's cool. And then I can kind of outline those, I think, and then put something there. Yep. Okay, and let's see, what else were we doing over here? Um, do I want, I want, I think I want, I don't, I don't think I want gold on this one. Let's, let's do these. What if we kind of put them together? Maybe just two at a time. Now I think I want to just go down that side. Okay, let's do this. I'm just going to scrape off this stencil a bit. Okay, um, where's my, this one? What if we just... Did a, kind of a swipe down that away. That's what I'm going to try. I'm going to go kind of out and go down like that. Ooh, ooh, I like that. That's very fun. All right. Okay, I like that idea with these. Just popping some on there and dragging her down.
I'll go across the bottom a little bit. <laughs> Fun. Okay. Let's do these now. This one. I'm just going to kind of do a little splotch in the middle on this one. Cool. Isn't that fun? So shiny and beautiful. Okay. This guy. What should we do with this guy? I might start down here, go below the yellow, and just smoosh some on randomly like that. Very fun. Okay, so now I need to do this. And I think I'm going to be done with the gold for a little bit. We're moving on, moving on to something else. scrub look that does a little something too see that cool okay now I think with those other two I'd like a dark that's what I'm thinking so Let's see about that. Got a little black here. So we're just going to mix up a little black. See what we can do with that. I see it's got, it had a little bubble. That's why it was so smooshed to the Stuff. This stuff, whatever, the foil. Okay. Good idea to shake your paint for this so that um, it doesn't, you know, have just that runny stuff to it. Let's get this stirred up. I think I might do one with the big numbers and one with the alphabet. That's what I'm thinking of doing. Okay. All right. This one, I think I will do that one with the alphabet. And I'm going to go here and see there's black in there. So I'm going to kind of try and avoid the black. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Okay. Come down this way. Mm 
Oh, cool. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty fun, huh? Okay. Now, let's see. And this guy, I think what I'm going to do is try and do the four and the eight and the nine on this. See how we go. Don't have enough hands sometimes. My husband's cutting up a, I heard him down here. I think he came to get an onion, living in, or garlic, living in the storage room. Oh yeah, my storage room smells like onions and garlic. <laughs> but hey, he cooks, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> okay, there we go there. Let's see. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Okay, I like that. Kind of got some smudges, but you know, it's grungy, so it doesn't matter. Okay, um, now what else? Do we have any others that we want some blackish on? You know, let's see. Let's see what some black leaves do to this. I don't know, experimenting. I'm just going to swipe down kind of the middle-ish. Go off the page. Let's, I don't know. Ooh, I like it. Gosh, so fun. Okay. Well, that was that turned out better than I thought it was going to. So that's exciting. Um. I don't know. I feel like maybe this could use a little a little black. I don't have much left. Um, let me just gonna wipe this off on here because there we go. Okay. Oh well that's a big old blob in there. Okay, um, gosh, are we filling a number on this? Forty-nine. I don't know if I have enough goop. Let's do let's do um let's do these instead. Cause then however much goop I have is how much goop I have. up what we have here on here okay and then just gonna do a little scrub here oh gosh 
multiple baby wipes at once. Okay, um, and I'll put this one to dry. I'll just pop that up there. I think we'll do more to that here in a second. All right. Oh, I should get this a little bit. This one's hard because it bends up when you scrub it. So, thus, it's pretty dirty because scrubbing it ends up ruining it. Sorry for the jiggle. Okay, we'll call that good enough. All right. Okay, so let's clean up our, our, our two wolves here. And then we're going to work on these book pages a little bit. Sorry again for the jiggle. Okay. Need one? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, I want this one here. And um, what I think I want is um, kind of a... Off whitish. So I'm going to grab some of this cream paste. Hopefully, this is still good. It's older. Yeah. Oh, it is. It's still great. Okay. I'm going to put that down in there. And put a little bit of light buttermilk in it. It's not going to have a whole huge effect, but just make it a little off-white. Okay. So, I just want to take these pockets and just do a little, little something on them. See how fun that is? Just adds something. Okay. And this one. Maybe we'll do similar. guess maybe something similar here although I'm going to do a different part of the stencil down in this corner Yay. These are these are so fun. Okay. 
I'm looking to see if I want a little something different. Maybe I do. Um, let me just real quick like wash this off a little bit. I'm not picky about paint on my stencils, but when it comes to a paste, I do try to clean them off right away because it can kind of muddy up your design some if you don't. Okay. Okay, so on this one, I, what, what was I thinking? Oh, I was thinking this one would be good. Like, still just the cream, but the leaves would be fun. Ooh, that picked up a little color from the stencil. That's cool. Okay. <clears throat> and this guy, I think this would be fun to do too, but like, like over the whole thing kind of. All the way down. I gotta go upright there because the stencil's bent. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ooh, yeah, that's cool. Good, good. That guy, I almost think I want something colored with that. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go down here with this one and just give it some leaves. Maybe use up the rest of our cream colored ish paste. Right. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Uh, and when you use the white paste too, if you want to, you can go back with paint and, and, you know, and paint over them instead of mixing the paint in with the, with this, with the stuff. Maybe we'll just use up our use up our goop on this one um yeah just gonna pull that down this way go up of this away <laughs> That looks cool. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to do the same thing on this one. Because I think I have enough, enough stuff. Just going to kind of try and use it up. Yeah, I'm really crazy about that. That's awesome. Okay. Now what? Oh, I better check the time. I'm not even sure. I just got going 
and don't know. I wrote it down though. 125, okay. Oh, geez, we only have five more minutes. Gosh, time flies when I'm doing this stuff. Okay, the other thing I just wanted to show you, and we could maybe do a couple, is um, I, somebody gifted those to me, or they came with an Etsy share, and I love that look on the old paper. So let's let's maybe do one of those. Let's see, maybe we can go like that. And I'm just gonna dip in and use the white. That's what we'll do. Get this. I might need to, I think I need to put it in the tray just because there seems to be some color coming off that stencil. Okay. see what this turns out to be like. Ah, that spot is is troublesome. Okay. And we'll go along the bottom. And then you could, you know, back this, make it a little tougher, make a pocket out of it, whatever. I think I'll go down, though. I like those little lines, too. Okay. Let's see how that does. Ooh, very cool. Very cool. I hope it shows up on camera well. Okay, um, let's see. Let's kind of clean this off for a second. And um, let's see, get rid of that. I'm going to continue after, after we go off. But um, We'll just clean that off and I'll show you um, I'll show you that the sacks that we did. And let's see. And then um, anything that well, I'll show you everything dried tomorrow. and then anything that I also that I do off camera, I'll show you too. Okay, so, and don't we have a cool, now I'll cut that into tags at, when I'm all done too. Okay, so real quick here, I'll just show you the bags, or not the bags, the um, envelopes. That turned out really cool. Now I'm going to put this in the signature, and then I'll attach something back here, but aren't those fun? And then this one, that turned out really good. And these two. So fun. Okay. Let's call it a video, guys. I'm super excited about all this stuff, though. Very fun. Thank you for playing with me today. Uh, Mixed Media Monday is always fun experimentation. So have a grateful day, everyone. We will just see you in the next video. Bye.